What's up everybody, Mythical Reaper here back at it again with another solo unlimited money glitch and this money glitch does not require custom place so this glitch will work for all of you guys. If you are new to the channel then feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 videos and if you could hit the like button that would be very much appreciated and don't forget to comment your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. So you're going to need a mobile operation center with the personal vehicle storage in bay 3. You're also going to need a Sultan RS. And you can actually use the slam van as well, but the Sultan RS just pays more. And put the Sultan RS or the slam van in the back of the MOC. Whichever one you're using, you're, you'll be good to go. But if you use any other vehicle, it will not work at all. So use either the Sultan RS or the slam van. Both have to be upgraded in Benny's motor shop. You're also going to need a garage either filled up with free LEDs or with Fagios, but I personally think that the Fagio method is actually much faster because you can request them from the uh, Motorcycle Club President tab in the inter interaction menu, you can actually request them and you will not have to wait 5 minutes for the mechanic to deliver another car or you can actually the, do the cheaper which is fill up the garage with free LEDs, either way it'll work. But if you're doing the Fagio method, make sure you don't put the Fagios in the in the clubhouse. Put them in the garage. Alright, so park the MOC in this location that I'm showing you right now on the map. Now get in the MOC and then open up the door of the Sultan RS. Just open it up and then stand right next to it. So get in the MOC and then open the door of the Sultan RS and just stand right next to it. After that, you're going to have to go to the home screen and then go to either the friends list or the communities and you need to join a player. You have to join his session. Now after you hit join session, you'll be put back into the game and all what you have to do is spam triangle. Once you spam triangle and get in the car, you have to hit the gas and keep holding it until you see the car move. But you need to hit the gas right before you see this alert. Are you sure you want to join a different GTA Online session? Uh, progress will be automatically saved. So after you see this alert, you have to deny it. And then once you deny it, you have, if, you, if done correctly, when you go back in, you will have two cars. Either on top of each other or inside of each other. Now this glitch is really hard to hit and you won't be getting it from the first time so practice with it and know when is the alert going to come. Also guys, uh, you do not want to join the same friend back to back because you will get the alert too fast. Now if you're not joining the same friend back to back and you are getting the alert too fast, if you are, uh, if you are using a LAN cable, make sure to switch to Wi-Fi and that'll make it a little bit slower. And if the alert is taking too long to actually pop up, make sure if you are using Wi-Fi to switch to a LAN cable and that'll make it a little bit faster. Now if the alert is still coming too fast and you cannot slow it down, uh, you can actually instead of standing right next to the opened door of the Sultan RS, you can uh, get in the car and then go ahead and join a session and continue from, uh, and continue from there. Now if your car disappears, do not worry, it is not lost. All what you have to do is register as a motorcycle club president and hit uh, return vehicle to storage and it should fix the problem. And if you do not have an MC clubhouse, you can actually request the MOC uh, again by getting far enough away from it to request it again or you can actually uh, request a personal vehicle as well. So yeah, practice with it guys to figure out when's the alert gonna pop up and remember guys you have to hit the gas right before the alert pops up. Now like I said, if done correctly, you will get two cars, either on top of each other or inside of each other. Either way, all what you have to do is get outside and call either your Elegy or Fagio, both work. And you have to remember which slot you pulled them out of. Now in my case, I'm using an Elegy, so I'm gonna pull it from this slot right here. And then once it gets delivered from the mechanic, all what I have to do is drive it in the MOC and accept the personal vehicle storage full alert. And you will spawn inside with a Sultan RS and an LG RH8. So this particular Sultan RS is actually the duplicate and the original is in the garage in the same slot as the LG that we pulled out earlier. Basically this LG that's in the MOC right now. Now 
Go ahead and pull up your phone and go to the internet and go ahead into Legendary Motorsports and order an Elegy. And you have to replace the Elegy or the Faggio that's in the MOC right now. And once you replace it, uh, it'll disappear. And then all you have to do is get in the Sultan Rest and pull it out of the MOC. Now you have to wait for the Elegy RHA to get delivered. So wait for the message from Legendary Motorsports telling you that it is confirmed that it is in your MOC. Once you see that message, go ahead and put the Sultan Rest inside of the MOC. There will be no alert that the personal vehicle storage is full uh, because, well, the Elegy that we ordered is glitched. So once you put the Sultan RS in the MOC, go ahead and take it outside and go into the garage that uh, you have the Elegies or the Fagios inside. And all what you have to do is replace the Sultan RS that uh, is basically in the same slot as the Elegy that we pulled out earlier. Now, if you want to do this glitch again, go ahead to the MOC and basically we'll find the original Sultan RS in there. And all you have to do to rinse and repeat the glitch is basically just do what I did from the start of the video to the end of the video. And that is basically it. But like I said, this glitch is really hard to hit. Like it took me a while to actually get it. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video and found it helpful. Now if you did, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.